Hello everyone, welcome to a special edition of The Home Game. And this one's in tribute to a dear friend of mine that passed away unfortunately a few days ago at the time of this recording. Russell Crapp's own Blade Braxton. Uh, we bonded over the years over our love for remote control, our love for pro wrestling, and various other things. Like I remember him telling me a story uh, about the Katie Vick outfit and he mentioned this on Russell Crap Radio and so I got to hear it a couple of days beforehand and let's just say it was the only time Artie Reynolds uh, walked out of his own show it was during that moment which I find quite hilarious I mean with all the stuff Blade uh, talked about over the years and all that he's done that was the one moment that got Artie to leave the show uh, but I miss him, and I think everybody does too. And on that note, we're going to talk about the one thing that kind of connected us, and that is remote control. And we have here the home game of MTV's remote control. And this was released in 1989, around the time where the popularity was starting to wane a bit. I mean, you had the regular host announcer, Colin Quinn, Ken Ober, but around the time this came out, uh, Kari had left, and Alicia Coppola was on the show, and then you had the syndicated version coming out, and, you know, remote control just kind of fell off the rails. But that's another story for another day, which I've already talked about, the games of 90 and the induction of remote control's final days. Anyway, so, but we're going to talk about the home game of remote control and we're gonna fade and talk about it so blade this is for you well here it is the board game for mtv's remote control you can see some interesting things on the box already as seen on tv and then it says the worthless game of useless tv knowledge and inside an mtv remote control t-shirt offer so not only do you pick up the home game you could also pick up a t-shirt for about 14 bucks at least that's what I'm thinking anyways so now this box opens weirdly it opens up like this and as you see already we have the t-shirt offer look at that dated 1989 order your t-shirt now and then it says offer good for limited time only uh, send a check for money order of, uh, it says eleven ninety five, and three dollars shipping and handling for so fifteen bucks, you get that snazzy remote control T-shirt, and you know what? Allow four to six weeks for delivery. Offer expires twelve thirty one nineteen ninety. Damn it! I really wanted the shirt. Oh well, um, but it's very rare to actually still have the T-shirt offer. Because I bet when people bought the game, they immediately sent away the 15 bucks for the t-shirt. I wonder how many got that. But as we remove the remote control booklet, we'll talk about this later. Here is the board itself. Now, unfortunately, it's not sponsored by Xenoph like the actual TV, but it is sponsored by Pressman, the people who actually made this game. And then we have the 10 category... Uh, boards which are supposed to be uh, interesting so I'll just grab one at random uh, okay we'll use this one um is there still one inside the um... no I took it out before I could swing and what you do is you would now this is a lot better <laughs> we'll fix that later uh, you would just slide it in back. Uh, make sure 5B is on back. 5B is in back, and you just slide it in. And everything would show up like this, but with everything covered. You know, 3 right here, 8 right here. As I pick up all of these things right here, my brother is going to help out with this. So that's six, that's twos right here. Here, you put them in because I don't know the order. Yeah. 
so this is how it's supposed to go. And what you do is remove these. And also in here are the stands. The stands. Also a little egg timer which we use for uh, think real fast, among other things. Here are the scoring discs for the game where I've never seen anybody score over 890 points. On a game like I've never seen that and then you have various things now these are cool right here the clickers you know how in the Jeopardy home games you'd have those little clickers but these ones are shelf like remote controls as in the back you'd see a clicker and that's how it would work but when you actually play, I'm doing it with my left hand because my right hand's a little foobard. Uh, you do it like this, and the finger goes. Apologies like this. to anybody. Apologies to anybody wearing headphones right now. <laughs> and then you have the uh, surprise channel cards, which you pick from up the, from the top or the bottom when a surprise channel shows up. We'll talk more about that later. But now we actually put everything together. Sorry for the little bumping of the camera there. Now we set the board up. Now what's supposed to happen is on below right here, you're supposed to put Here we go, right here. Okay. Right now, let's actually take a quick look at the back right here. Yep. To see where the pieces are supposed to fit, as you can see right here. Yeah, they're supposed to fit right here. There. There goes channel 3 which is now set back up we turn it around and that's how the board is supposed to look this now this it looks a little unstable but that's kind of the thing for remote control it was always a little bit unstable don't you think yeah. so knowing that this is board five what you would do is you would go to the remote control question and answer book and search for a game that uses sheet five so for example we will use game 35 and all the answers are right there Whoop. so Garrett why don't you pick a channel um, by the way, we will not be using the clickers for the, um, for any more of the channel stuff because we already blew out everyone's eardrums yeah. a few seconds ago. Again, we apologize. Mm -hmm. Please don't sue us. Um, channel 6. Channel 6. You reveal dead or alive for 10 points. Dead or alive. That kid who played Jody on Family Affair. Alive? Yeah, alive. According to the game, alive now is jo the name was Johnny Whitaker. Now a Mormon minister. <laughs> We're gonna leave that alone. Then when you finish the category, uh, we'll take that and what you're supposed to do is put it on its side, like this, and it would mean that the category is closed. For example, if you take channel 9 for the first one, cop shows, and people still want to play on, you would just set it aside and go channel 4 to change it for a surprise. That's a one card quest, that's a one question dealio, so you'd move back out. But if you select surprise, you would pick from the surprise channel cards, which 
I'm so impressed it actually has its box. So you would take uh, one from random, we'll use this one right here, and it's Star Guts, which I don't even remember being on the show. It was around for like a couple of times, but that was it. This was short-lived. And what Star Guts is, it's a question. So her spirit may be ancient, but her bladder's just over 50. In her pursuit of life, this actress always goes out on a limb. For 20 points, name Warren Beatty's sister, and the answer would be... Shirley McLean. Yeah, Shirley McLean. Wait. Just be aware that answer was on the screen, and so it... So... That answer was on the screen, so mm -hmm. just be... So, uh, let's all do a better job to hide the answers. Dad, yeah, don't worry about it. We're just showing off the game. Of course. But then we have the penalties like Ranger Bob. The cards are double-sided, and, uh, you know... Safety Cubs, it's always a good idea to put fires out before they get too out of hand. Otherwise, you look like me, and you'll lose 10 points. Please be a Ranger Bob Safety Cub. Only you can prevent forest fires. From burning my sad little face. Yes. <laughs> so, that's how... the first round is played and what you do for the second round is reset all of this and you're supposed to play through the entire game and then you flip the category sheet around and I gotta say with this category board right here I honestly got to say, it's a lot better than the Wheel of Fortune board, which was a little too tight for my liking. And then there was the Now You See It board, which was pretty much unmanageable. It was probably one of the few downfalls I had about the board game. Then you play round two like usual, only this time each question's worth 20 points. And then you get to think real fast, which is not on the main sheet, but at the tail end of the book. So it would be like this. It would be listed right here. So for the example that I'm going to give Garrett, uh, we took the titles of popular programs and replaced it with one word with a medical term. You tell us what the word really belongs. For example, if I said leave, leave it to bronchitis, you would say... Leave it to beaver. Yeah, right. So I'm going to give you these 10. I don't know if you'll get many of them, but I think you could get quite a few of them. Okay? Okay, then. The Dukes of Proctology. Dukes of Hazard. Yes. Laverne and Liposuction. Laverne and Shirley. Yes. Mork and Menopause. Mork and Mindy. Yes. Wheel of Infection. Wheel of Fortune. Yes. Jake and the Bedpan. I don't know. Pass. That's Jake and the Fat Man. Highway to Jaundice. Highway to Hell? Uh, highway to Heaven. Married with tuberculosis. Married with children. Yes. Groin pains. Growing pains. Yes. Wild, wild wart. Wild, wild west. Yes. Too close for constipation. Too close for comfort. Wow, you got 8 out of 10. Well played. Yeah. But that's the remote control board game. There are 40 games, which is a lot. Um, now, I don't know how many of the questions were repeated on the video game version for the NES. I heard from a commenter when I released the schedule, the updated schedule for this month, that uh, there was some bleed. But that's the thing with TV trivia. There's always going to be bleed. But anyway, that is going to end it for this edition of the home game. Uh, rest in peace, Blade, and I hope you're watching this in heaven. And for everyone else, uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, this little look through of MTV's remote control. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, you know the drill. And if you want to see more home games and help us afford more home games, go to patreon.com slash gameshowgumbo. Uh, until next time, this is Cindy Sandlin saying bye-bye, and I wish I had a haiku for Blade. Unfortunately, I don't because I'm not as talented as he is. Goodbye.